Okay, this is for Shingli textbook exercise 12b, question 6. Question 6. Okay, in this question, construct a quadrilateral PQRS such that PQ equals to 5.3 cm, QR equals to 6.3 cm, RS is equal to 6.7 cm, angle PQR equals to 75 degrees, and QRS is equals to 60 degrees. For part I, measure and write down the length of PR. Part double I, measure and write down the size of angle RPS. So let's take a look at some technical terms for this. Firstly, construct a quadrilateral PQRS. What does quadrilateral means? Quadrilateral means that it is four-sided. Means four-sided figure. Okay, a quadrilateral means that it is a four-sided figure. Next, so we have all these things. The next thing that you have to note is PQRS must be in sequence. What does that mean by in sequence? If I label here as P and I want to go clockwise, this one must be Q, this one must definitely be R. It cannot be S. So it must be in sequence, in a round. It can be PQRS or DIY. PQRS both as long as it creates a sequence and it is consecutive. Right, so with all this noted, I have PQ equals to 5.3. So how am I going to find PQ? PQ 5.3, I'll just start off as the base at the bottom. PQ will be over here. 5.3, I measure until the length here of 5.3. I'll label here P, label here Q, 5.3 cm. Next, QR is equals to 6.3 and RS equals to 7.6. I can't really denote how it will be. So, next, I will take the next one, the next angle PQR equals 75 degrees. So I'll take a protractor. I'll label and measure 75 degrees for angle Q. Angle Q is 75 degrees, so therefore over here I will mark it off as 75 degrees. Okay, let me zoom in to show you. Alright, so 75 degrees, I'll mark it off here. And I will draw a straight line. I do not know how QR will be equals. So I'll just draw one straight line down. And next, can I find angle R? I need to mark out angle R. So QR is equals to 6.3. So how am I going to mark out the 6.3? I'll mark out using a compass. You can also use a ruler, but then a compass will be more accurate. So I'll measure 6.3. And I'll put like point Q, mark off 6.3. So this point will be there for the intersection point. Intersection point here will be point R. Okay, so I'll write here QRS 6.3 cm. Next, RS equals to 6.7 and angle R is 60 degrees. So since angle R is 60 degrees, I will mark my angle over here using my protractor. So 
so after I mark it off it will show that it is 60 degrees so I'll make a mark here 60 degrees and I will draw a straight line down again So they say that RS is equal to seven six point seven cm. I'll measure six point seven cm. Which is over here. This is using the ruler. And I can label this as S. And lastly, S and P I will draw a line. Once I'm done with this, I will use an eraser and erase off all the extra lines. Okay, so this is my quadrilateral PQRS. Make sure they are in sequence. Now, measure and write down the length of PR. PR, I'm going to measure it. I always like to use a pencil to mark more of the point, like a pointed end. And I will see that over here I have 7.1 cm. Or alternatively, I can draw a line and mark it off. So for part 2, measure and write down the size of R, P and S, angle P, R, P, S will be over here. So I'm going to find what is this angle. This angle is unknown to me and what I'm going to find. So let me zoom into it. Let's take a closer look. R, P, S. So over here I have line R and P, but P, S is a bit short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it slightly such that it will be longer so that I can measure my angle more accurately. Right. And then I'll take a protractor, lay upon RP. The protractor line must be on RP. Once I have inserted and placed in line, it started from zero, I'll measure until here, 70. And therefore I have 71, 72. Angle will be 72 degrees. Therefore, RPS is equal to 72 degrees.